In this video, we're going to look at another example on how to solve nonlinear simultaneous equations. For this example, we've got two equations. Our first equation is x minus y is equal to 2. This is a straight line graph. And our second equation, xy is equal to 15, is a hyperbola. And for this example, we're going to solve using the substitution method. To begin, we're going to rearrange the second equation to make y the subject. And to do this, we simply divide both the left and the right hand side by x. The x will cancel out, so we have y is equal to 15 on x. Then we're going to label the equations, equation 1 and equation 2, and we're going to substitute equation 2 into equation 1. This means that we're going to replace the variable y in equation 1 with the expression 15 on x from equation 2. The idea behind this is that we want to get rid of one variable and replace it with another variable so that we end up with one equation with one variable which we can solve. So after we substitute 2 into 1, we'll get x minus 15 on x is equal to 2. To solve this, we first multiply every single term by x. See how the x cancels out. Then when we simplify this, we have x squared minus 15 is equal to 2x. This is a quadratic equation. We subtract 2x from both the left and the right hand side so that we have x squared minus 2x minus 15 is equal to 0. We then factorize this, find two numbers that multiply to give negative 15 and add to give negative 2. These are negative 5 and positive 3. So this equation factorizes to x minus 5 times x plus 3 is equal to 0. This means that the solutions are x is equal to 5 or x is equal to negative 3. Now once you solve for x, we still need to go back and obtain the corresponding values of y. So when x is equal to 5, we can substitute this value of x into any of the equations, 1 or 2, and solve for y. But for simplicity, we're just going to substitute into equation 2. So from equation 2, we've got y is equal to 15 on x, replace the x with 5, and solving this, we get y is equal to 3. So our first set of solution is x is equal to 5 and y is equal to 3. When x is equal to negative 3, our other solution, we're going to do the same. We're going to substitute x is equal to negative 3 into equation 2. So from equation 2, y is equal to 15 on x. We're going to replace the x with negative 3. So we have 15 divided by negative 3, which is equal to negative 5. So therefore, when x is equal to negative 3, y is equal to negative 5. So let's try to make sense of our solutions. Our first equation, x minus y is equal to 2, is the straight line graph. And the second equation, xy is equal to 15, is a hyperbola. Our solutions are actually the points of intersection of these two graphs. So remember, when we've got x is equal to 5 and y is equal to 3, this corresponds to this first point of intersection, 5, 3. And our second set of solution, x is equal to negative 3 and y is equal to negative 5, corresponds to this second point of intersection with coordinate negative 3 and negative 5. Thanks everyone for watching the video. I hope you guys found it helpful. For more videos on this topic or other topics, please have a look at our channel. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. We release videos weekly and we would love to see you all in the next one. Bye for now.